with the uh, second installment of Snyder's Snyder I See the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, and this one is the bad. I'll try to make this as uh, short and sweet as possible, hit the highlights and tell you what I think uh, your opinion may vary. Hey, it's your opinion, you're welcome to have it. Uh, the bad is the contract. Uh, yes, I signed the contract. Yes, I knew what was in it. I had an attorney and my CPA look at it. Uh, there are things in the, the contract that I really wasn't comfortable with, they weren't comfortable with, but I went ahead and signed it because I knew I could make a go of it. I had the fortune, a good fortune of meeting two drivers who opened up their financials to me and allowed me to see what they had been making, and that's when I make the decision to come over to Snyder IC. However, there are things in that contract you need to be aware of. Snyder is allowed to make, it, if you take your truck to Snyder, let me rephrase that. If you take your SFI truck, or any truck for that matter, if you own your truck straight out, if you take it to Snyder, they are allowed to make money on every transaction you do using the Snyder fuel card uh, or, or, or anything, having your truck fixed at their shop, they make a profit. That's their business. They're in business to make a profit. So you should expect that. You won't see it per se, but it's there. They're always making a profit, uh, be it off your, you know, fuel, off your tires, all the mechanical work, whatever, you know, the service charges for swiping that card. At, you know, if you fill up at Pilot, it's only a dollar, but it's more than a dollar. Get into that later on, but right now, if you're you're thinking about coming over to Snyder and getting an SFI truck and all that, it's my understanding that they have discontinued paying the tolls. I was under the contract where my tolls got paid up in the Northeast. My understanding is some of the newer drivers aren't getting that benefit. So that's a bad point for me because you can go broke trying to run the Northeast real, real quick paying tolls. Well, you could go broke up there not paying tolls. It, the freight just generally sucks up there for Snyder. You can go in there real good, but you're not gonna come out paying very well. So a lot of people tend to stay out of there. Another bad idea, that uh, a bad thing about Snyder I like, is or dislike, is they have their boxes. As long as you stay in those boxes, you'll do good, you'll do well, as a matter of fact. If you live in those boxes, you'll do exceptionally well. Unfortunately, I didn't live in one of those boxes. And uh, I'm gonna give a shameless plug to someone that I appreciate their videos as Christian Trucker. Because when I first started doing this, I watched his videos and the only thing I could think the entire time I was watching when he was posting his numbers was the amount of deadhead that he had and how it was just seemed astronomical to me. Unfortunately, I live pretty close to Christian Trucker, so I got to understand the deadhead thing because um, I live in a major major uh, area where freight, uh, there's a lot of freight going in and out. Unfortunately, Snyder didn't have it. Uh, I was very limited on what I could do going in and out. I made good money coming out, didn't going in. More on that later as well. So if you're thinking about coming over here, you need to be aware that you are going to be giving money to Snyder if you have a SFI truck or any truck. You are going to be basically putting money in Snyder's pocket. That's, but that's true with anybody you lease from. So one of the good points is it's just click and go on the, on the freight. I mean, you click it, it gets assigned to you if the load's still available. And uh, that's a good thing to know, and that's a good thing to have if, you, if you're not used to booking your own freight. If you're a company driver coming over to the IC area, uh, it's gonna be a learning curve for you. Shouldn't take you very long. 
And um, you, there's a network of good YouTubers out here that can help you out if you ask for help. That's, that's a good point, not exactly a bad point, but the fact that you're needing help is a bad point. So, in wrapping up, in conclusion, there, yes, there are bad points, and there are good points, but there's some really ugly points, and those are coming up later.